Hello everybody and welcome to this lesson. In the previous video we saw how to um, add the rigid bodies and the collider to our game objects. So when you run the game you're gonna see we got some physics applied to the game objects. Uh, in this lesson we want to learn how to add the sounds and the movement to our player by adding the script. So in order to move the player we have to apply a controller script or any kind of script that gonna control the movement of the player so basically we just gonna get started with a new script here so I'm just gonna go as an organization of our project folder We're just gonna create a new folder and name it as a script so this is our script folder I need to create a new script to the player so basically I'm just gonna attach a new script to it by adding a new component and here I'm just gonna select new script I want to work with C sharp and name this controller as controller. Great. And add. We got this script over there. So I can just double click on the controller. It's going to be opened using the mono editor for uh, Unity 3D. So we have the start method and we have the update method. Update method is called per frame. So when you run the game we have rendering of the frame so every time we render a new frame this method is gonna be called start gonna be called on initialization most of the time we wanna work with update in this course so let me add some variables here I wanna add the following variables okay keep this for the next step let me just begin with the variables that we have we have first a polling variable called is grounded this variable is used when we want to decide if the player is on the ground or it's not on the ground because we wanna when the player is on the ground we want the player to jump but if the player is not on the ground jumping is not allowed so this is very important that's why we need this boolean flag is grounded we have a radius and we have a force the force we are using this project because we want the player to jump to the top a little bit by a force we give it a factor of 300 and also we got a radius why this is the radius this is is the radius of the distance between the player and the back the 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 ground so we got a, a small distance between the player and the ground and this is the distance used in order to decide whether the player is on the ground or not we're gonna explain this in more detail in the next few minutes and also we got transform for the coins per transform for the ground point we got a ground point that's that's why we got this transform we we mean by transform as a as a point as a position and as a rotation so when we that's why we define a transform here we have a layer mask which is the layer where's the ground layer that's why we made in the previous video we made a layer called the ground so we need to assign that layer here and we got an audio source and an audio clip and also three audio clips here one for the jump one for the the coin and one for the win when we win the game also got another animator we got the coins for the player because every time we got a score and this uh, uh, we, we got the coins and we got the score so the coins are the the basically how many coins that the player collects when he when he uh, plays the game or uh, and we got also the text mesh the text mesh here which is used in order to display the coins the number of coins on the screens so it's an object container for the coins so this is the value and and this is the the text of the representation of the value okay so I'm just gonna get started with the adding with the audio files here we got audio source you need an audio source in order to play the audio clips so that's why we got these uh, three audio clips with this audio source 
um, so first thing I need to apply the audio source so basically I'm just gonna type here and uh, create a new game object and name it as audio source so we got our audio source here um, I need to add music to it so basically you can type here audio source so we don't have any audio clip and I need to add the audio clips here by creating a new folder called it and call it sounds I need to drag the the sounds here I got the coin the jump and a saw a sound when the player win the game all right so I need to drag these three files into the the, the game here we got these three sounds I need to get started with the audio source and I can't add anything to it all right I need to uncheck this um, option and I need to add all the audio clips to the game so basically let us add them we got the controller here but notice we don't have um, we don't have the option listed so you have to go to the file here click save and then in the player you can see all the options are updated and you can see here and change them in runtime using unity iter so basically I'm just gonna drag the voices this is the coin and this is for the jump and this is for the magic or the win also we need to add an audio source so I'm just gonna add this object here and for the ground we don't have anything so need to give it a layer so we say we can see here this is the ground layer we have coins print and we have a ground point so I need to add something called ground, uh, ground point to the player so basically I'm just gonna create a new empty and just gonna name it as ground point click and enter so this is is our ground point I'm just gonna drag this point into the player and if you go to the ground point in order to make a center and it's burnt the parent is the, the the player and we got the ground point here I need to centralize it in its parent so basically just select the ground point and choose the position of zero zero to be center in its parent alright so we got the, the point here it's recommended to the to put this point double click on it it's recommended to put this point a little bit at the bottom of the player alright so after you create the ground point I need to add this ground point into the the player script so basically just navigate to the player and drag this ground point to the ground point here so it just got the ground point to the player and we have an animator and we have coins and we have score we need to add score later on right now I can save the game save you can see here we got nothing because the player is not moving but we got the collider applied but the main reason why I run the game because I want to make sure that we don't have any compiler error so this is perfect in the next video we want to add the movement to the player we want to make this player jump and see how it sounds so see you in the next video